with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight is Doris Burke. We are inside the U.S. Airways Center, live from Phoenix, Arizona. It's the Suns. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So the Lakers five right now. Inside, it's Boozer and Hill. Lynn and Kobe are your one and your two. And it's Johnson in at the three side. Well, Jordan Hill has battled injuries, but when he's played Clark, he's been pretty effective. You know, Kevin, last season, around 20 minutes per game, he played with the Lakers. And you could argue he should have been playing more. He was very productive in that time on the floor. He's more a banger than a spread for. He's not a great perimeter shooter. And so the fit with their spread out system might have limited his playing time. Here's Kobe. The Suns getting the bucket. Shoots a fader. Can't get it to go. Now Bledsoe. Tucker the pass to Bledsoe. Kicks to Dragic. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, last year it was a breakout one for the Phoenix guards. Goran Dragic in his second season as a full-time starter, Steve. He truly elevated his game to all-star status. Well, statistically, he was actually a top 10 player in the league. And more importantly, Kevin, he helped lead the Phoenix Suns to 47 wins, which nobody saw coming. So Dragic just with a monster year. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. 17 seconds. Outside, Kobe. Off the left rim and out. And Dragic was really a glaring omission from the All-Star game in New Orleans. I don't think anybody questions that. When Kobe had to sit it out, many felt Dragic should have been the selection, especially considering the Suns record. I mean, they were a borderline playoff team all year long. Here is Bryant after Eric Bledsoe's score. The 17-footer. And that one's good by Kobe. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Then for Dragic, some additional sting. His contract with the Suns would have paid him a million-dollar bonus for making an all-star game. But to his credit, he said all the right things and just used the slightest motivation for the Suns. And, uh, oh, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. And the Lakers making a change here. Randall's checked in. Now here's Kobe. Falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. It's going to be tough for the defense today. If he's got his A game rolling here tonight, we'll see. And Bledsoe, here we go. Second chance shot. Offensive rebound. The shot's good from Plumley. Plumley's got seven. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Outside Bryant. Morris with the rebound. Suns leading by four. Rogic kicks it to Tuck. Stolen by Boozer. Johnson outside. Let's it go. Kobe can't get that one to fall. Poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. The Phoenix Suns franchise with the fourth best winning percentage in NBA history. We shouldn't have been surprised with their resurgent play last season. This is a franchise that throughout its history has found ways to win. Lynn against Bledsoe. It's Morris atop the key. Knocked away. And Lynn with a clear path to the hoop. Trips down the breakaway slam. Savage, that's, that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely. Those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. Here's Tucker. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Johnson left side. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. That's not as easy as he made it look, guys. You've got to have some skills 
to pull that baby off. Well, he's got plenty of those skills <laughs> necessary for him. Well, you know it. The guy can climb the ladder, can't he? Players in the NBA always look to compare each other, and one apt comparison that Eric Flexo received was mini LeBron. I mean, that's quite a high compliment, but I think it fits it. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. The Lakers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. Nash outside. Right wing. Here's Kennedy. His three pointers off the mark. And with Bledsoe, it was actually his teammate, Aaron Dragic, who started calling him mini LeBron. The more footage you see of him, the easier it is to agree with that statement. And the shot by Warren, no good. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. It's Young on the wing. The offensive rebound. Near the three-point line, it's Nash. And again, the Lakers, no good. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just planks the open jumper. Here's Green. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Green's got his first two points of the night. You talk about that nickname for Bledsoe, Mini LeBron. And for Bledsoe, Clark, it really all comes together when you see him in the open floor. He's like a tiny runaway train. And when, when he gets the ball, you know it's going to be in a fast break. Yeah, and he's really hard to slow down in the open floor, as you said, Kevin. And it's in large part due to just how strong he is for his size. And it's the Suns with the ball. Following the bucket by the Lakers. And the wide open shot from Warren. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. Lakers trail by three. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Davis, and he drops in the way up off the glass. You know, they really aren't putting up any resistance on the low block. That's the fifth consecutive basket inside. And Steve, these looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Thomas and the Suns tack on two more. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on it. Both teams have it going here early and still close through the first quarter. Suns lead by three. And back in a moment as we'll get underway.